Okay, so I wanted to take a second here to talk about the risks of cataract surgery. Overall, this is a really safe procedure, but there's no such thing as a procedure that doesn't carry some risks, so I just want to go through some of these with you. Um, you're going to be signing forms both at my office and at Oakwood as well that kind of detail these risks, but you can use this video as context around what that form says. Um, so again, overall, very safe procedure. Four million of these are done a year and people do great. Um, I would start with the one of the biggest risks that we worry about would be an infection after cataract surgery. Um, and the reason I frame it like that because infections can be very bad. It can lead to blindness, it can even lead to loss of the eye. And so we take infections very, very seriously. It's actually why we you know, sterilize you in the operating room, it's why we have you on post-op drops, it's actually why we separate the eyes out. So God forbid something happens to one eye, it only happens to the one eye, not both. Um, fortunately though, infections are really uncommon after cataract surgery. I think the most recent estimate was 0.05%. Um, and so it's not something I expect to happen actually, but it can happen, you just gotta be aware of that. Um, other risks include retinal tears or detachments after surgery. Again, this is not common, but it can certainly happen. Um, to give context to that, the retina is the structure in the back of the eye that receives the image and sends it to the brain via the optic nerve. Um, some people do have other conditions that might predispose them to retinal tears or detachments. And if that's the case, I'll mention that to you. But on the whole, it's not something that commonly happens after surgery. Um, another risk would be, uh, I guess, a risk of something being damaged during the surgery. And so to, to go back, if you recall, the cataract itself sits in this capsule in the eye. It's fully encapsulated, so I give this M&M analogy. The surgery is, we're basically coming in and opening the front of that capsule up to get access to the cataract. And we break that up, small pieces, take it out, and that's where we actually put the new plastic lens and it sort of gets sealed in position in that same capsule. Now, one of the risks, and there are certain cataracts that can make this sort of increased risk, and I'll, again, if that's you, I'll tell you this, but there's a risk that the capsule itself is either weakened or breaks during surgery on the backside. If that were to happen, we'd see it right away. Uh, and the problem with that is that pieces of the cataract can then fall backwards, like if you're taking this eye and look upward, um, they can go down towards the retina. If that were to happen, we still take the cataract out that's remaining in the capsule, um, and we still actually put a, a, a lens in your eye that's got prescript, prescriptive power that's meant for you. Um, but if the, the break did happen, it could lead to sort of delayed healing, and there's a possibility you'd need a second surgery to go back by a retina specialist to take out any residual cataract pieces that might have fallen closer to the retina. Um, Again, not something we expect to happen, but there are certain conditions that I'll, I might mention to you that put you at higher risk. Just to name a couple, history of trauma does put you at higher risk for developing this kind of complication. Um, certain types of cataracts, like if you hear me say the word polar cataract. Um, and there's actually a, a condition that can cause glaucoma called pseudo exfoliation that puts you at high risk for this as well. Um, if you're at, at all incre have an increased risk for uh, a break in the support structure, I'll be telling you that in the clinic. Uh, most people don't, and uh, most people also don't get this complication. Um, and so those are the sort of the big three in my mind. There are lots of other little things that could happen after cataract surgery, but most of that is well managed just with drops or maybe an additional visit. Uh, just to describe a couple, some folks do get increased pressure after cataract surgery, either due to the surgery itself or due to the drops actually. Um, that is generally well managed with an additional drop to lower the pressure. Um, another potential, um, I guess, complication would be uh, increased inflammation after the surgery. Now, the drops we put you on actually have a steroid and it meant to decrease inflammation, but occasionally some people might need to use a steroid drop a little bit longer just to help quiet any residual inflammation. Um, and so there, there might be other little things that could come up. And if you have any particular questions or concerns beyond those that I've mentioned, just bring them up and we'll go over them in the clinic. Um, but again, overall, very safe surgery.